until this point, syncing our Google calendars with our iCalendar has been a real pain in the butt. We've had to rely on third-party software to even synchronize our calendars, which is a bit antiquated and kind of retarded. Um, now we've got the tools to sync our Google calendars to our iCalendar with just built-in Google tools. So I've made sure I put in a, an event into the Google Calendar so we can see that it's actually working here. But all we need to really do is go into iCalendar, click the Preferences, uh, make sure we're on the Accounts tab. You can see I have the two that I already put in there. And we're going to click this plus down on the bottom to create a new CalDAV account. Um, you can name the description whatever you want. Your new username will actually be your Google account name. Um, so mine is josh.schnell at gmail.com. My password will actually be the password for my Gmail account. Um, the account URL is a little bit tricky. We're just going to paste the code that Google kind of recommends us to use to access our calendars. Um, normally, uh, in the section that's kind of blocked out here that says calendar email address, we would just put our actual Gmail account email address. Um, but if you want to use anything but your default calendar, so if you have multiple calendars, you're going to have to actually go to your Gmail calendar account, click on the account to get a snippet of code. So we're going to do that quick reel here just so I can show you how we're going to do this. Um, we're going to click on the down arrow for our calendar that we want. And then if we scroll down a little bit, Google's going to give us a unique URL. It's kind of off screen. Let's fix this quick. Okay, you can see here there's this calendar ID that ends up being what you need to access this particular calendar. So I want to set up the MacGasm calendar. I'm going to use this calendar ID. This calendar ID is going to be different for each of the different calendars that you have. So if you go back into iCalendar, and right after this slash here, we're going to copy and paste it into the account URL. And we're going to hit Add. So we can see it's going through. It's added it to our iCalendar. Um, and you can see an iCalendar is syncing. This is the actual sample email address and the code that they give you for your account. And if we're going to copy and paste this, we're going to stick it right over where it says josh.schnell at gmail.com. And that's what we'll kind of throw back into the account URL um, in the account section of iCalendar. If we go back into iCalendar, um, we can just close this accounts tab here. We'll see that the macasm-public calendar from the Google calendars has been added and the events have been added to my iCalendar. Um, so we, we've seen now that the calendar is being brought down from Google servers and put into iCalendar. So we're going to change something here. We're going to resync it back up to the Google calendar. So I'm just going to add resync here in the, the name of the event. And we're going to hit done. And I'm going to refresh the Google calendar here so we can see that it's been added to the Google calendar. And as you can see, it's syncing. It's kind of uploading the, the changes right now to the Google servers. And in my web browser here, we have to refresh. So we're going to refresh, and we'll see that it's been added. So we've added to our calendar now both ways. We've downloaded from Google Calendars, and we've uploaded to Google Calendars from iCalendar. Um, so we'll just keep doing some samples here. I'm going to add another event in Google Calendars. We're going to save it quick. And then go back into iCalendar. And as you can see, there's nothing here yet. But if I right click on the calendar I want and hit refresh, the changes work just the same. So we're syncing right now between the two, two services. Um, we also have the ability to edit some of these things. We can edit the times, obviously, but we can add notes. The notes from our iCalendar that we type in actually sync with the notes in Google Calendar as well. Um, now Google's developers recommend that we don't rely on this fully for our syncing purposes. Um, it's still kind of in testing and in beta, I guess. So if you're going to be using this for important events that you want to sync between your devices, just a quick word of caution. Um, you might think that you're syncing, but some of your events might go missing. Um, it's definitely a step in the right direction, and hopefully soon we won't have to buy third-party software to do this.